Hi everyone. Happy Saturday. I don't know what it's like where you are, but it has been raining, raining, raining here uh, in my area. And I think it's finally finished. Hopefully the sun will be coming out tomorrow. So today we're going to be talking about, is it love or is it fear? And for those of you who don't know me, I'm Cheryl Piper, and I have new branding, as you can see at the bottom of my screen. The show is now called Heart Mind Connections with Cheryl Piper. You know, I, I thought about this and and I just really thought it'd be good to name the show rather than just, you know, live with Cheryl Piper, uh, because what is it that I'm ta talking about all the time? I'm talking about the heart, the power of the heart. I'm talking about the mind, you know, that connection between thought and the mind. Oh, hi, Lisa. Thanks for thanks for coming. Um, we're talking about is it love or is it fear today? And um, that I did name the show because love really is the bottom line of most of the things that I discuss and talk about. And so today I thought, wouldn't it be interesting to kind of move into a subject like this? You know, is it love or is it fear? And I'm going to talk about two different types of love today. The first type of love being, I guess, what you could call human love. And, you know, human love, it, it's conditional you know, it varies, it can change. It's, you know, that situation of, I love you, but you're not doing what I want you to do. So I'm pulling back my love, you know, I'm, I'm mad, I'm upset, I'm not going to treat you well. These are, these are conditions. And in this type of love, it's, con you know, we look at it, it's dual, because it's conditional. So therefore, it has an opposite side. It's a, I love you, but, you know, I want to be around you, but those type of things. So when we are in this, well, what's called human love or conditional love, it, um, it can create a lot of roller coaster rides of ups and downs and, and, um, and love and, and, and dislike and, and I'm upset with you and I'm mad at you. So it, it can be quite turbulent. And how peaceful does that sound? Does it sound joyful? Does it sound peaceful? So when we're looking at this type of love, it, it can, you know, cause heartache in our life. It can cause us to, to feel sadness and upset and quite frankly, putting conditions on our love that we're willing to give with to someone. And then we have divine love. And so those are the two that I'm going to talk about today. There are other types, but I'm, I want to talk about specifically these two. So when we look at divine love, you know, this is unconditional love. This type of love doesn't change. It doesn't vary. It just simply is. I love you. I just love you. There's no more behind it. There's nothing I need from you. I choose to simply feel the feeling of unconditional love for you, for everyone around me. I'm making a conscious choice to step into this type of love that does have peace, that does create joy, and quite frankly, doesn't have an opposite, because it simply is. And of course, we're all working to move into this space. You know, I, you know, I'm, I'm a work in progress, just like everyone else. And, you know, of course, we kind of fall out and in and out. But understanding that this type of love does exist and that we can make choices as we move along our journey to step into this unconditional love. 
So I have a couple questions for you, and, and I'm hoping that maybe you can relate to this and, um, and, and see if this fits into your life, or maybe we can move through and look at it a different way. And so is it love or is it fear? And so why do we do the things that we do? So let's stop and think about um, maybe the food that we eat. Do we eat healthy food because we're afraid if we don't, something bad may happen to us or, or our body or we may get ill or are we, we walking into that with fear? That's our reason for doing it. Or are we eating healthy because we love our body and we want to be kind to our body and to this vessel that we're in while we're here? What's the intention behind the action that we're doing? How about exercise? Um, you know, are we going to the gym and working out because we're afraid if we don't? Oh, we, we may not, you know, have that perfect shape that we want, or, you know, we may not be as healthy as we want. Is that motivation to go to the gym and work out fear? Or is that motivation to go work out? I want to be kind to my body. I want to keep my body active. I want to, I want to give my body what it needs to stay in motion. And here's another one I just, I just thought of is, is how about kindness, how we treat other people. Do we treat other people with kindness and patience because we're afraid of what they might say or think about us if we don't? Like we think that that's, that's how we're supposed to act. And, oh, if I don't act this way, they're going to think badly of me. They're going to judge me. They're going to talk about me, which is all fear-based. Or when we meet someone or we just are talking with someone, are we treating them kindly and with love and compassion because that's who we are and we are just bringing that forth in our conversation with another person and it simply has love behind it and no other agenda. So this is, I just thought it would be, um, it just popped into my head to talk about this today and I wanted to bring it up and get your thoughts on it. I mean, you know, how many of you would like to be able to step into love and let go of fear? Step into that peaceful, joyful space in moving forward with your interactions and leave the fear behind. It doesn't do anything for you. It's not helpful and it will keep you stuck. You know, I think of A Course in Miracles, and A Course in Miracles says, let me think, A Course in Miracles says, oh my goodness, what is it? Uh, it says that there's, there's two different ways to react. There's love and there's fear. And, and what is love is not fear. And what is fear is not love. So it's very clear cut in its distinction. And so I just wanted to chat with you about this today. Feel free to put your comments or questions in the comment area and move forward in your weekend, stepping into love, stepping into kindness, stepping into compassion with those around you. And most of all, with yourself, be kind to yourself. Love yourself, be true to yourself, and really be who you are. I'm Cheryl Piper, and this is Heart Minded Connections with Cheryl Piper. I will see you tomorrow for Sunday evening meditation. Take care and enjoy your day.